what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we are here with another episode of haikyuu and this is season four part two episode one okay um so we're just gonna jump in man we know that um karasuno is in the middle of a match you know they're in the middle of a match playing against these twin twin boys and you know the the, the professor the king has arrived as he gets used to the stadium right um to the spatial awareness and all of that and kageyama is definitely in there we got hinata boy sukishima we got daichi we got the sugar man you know what i'm saying um so we go jump in no time wasting then i will have my review for the episodes right after so let's just jump in um so it's gonna be one episode as soon as they air i'm gonna t i might take a day or two to get to them but i will get these reactions out to you guys okay so as long as the season is going on i will it's just one episodes per upload so we will get that done all right so let's just jump into it and i will see you guys for the review all right so that was a great comeback for the show no doubt um great i enjoyed that episode very much so watching hinata um watching kageyama once more we're back in the cut but the team on the other side is not a joke bruh they are not a joke and we're not underestimating them in any way you know we're not underestimating them in any way um but i think i don't think that's something that they that they perfected i think that was probably something they've tried to do you get what i'm saying but i don't think it's something that they perfected it doesn't look it looked just like what hinata and kageyama does but it doesn't look as clean you get what i'm saying it doesn't look like the refined one that they both have it looked like it's the first one that they had it looked more like the first one the unrefined one um not the one that they that kageyama and hinata has now we're as in you know what i mean i think i think it's something that they just tried because they are kind of like a genius kind of twin kind of stuff between the two of them you know what i'm saying like they're they're volleyball prodigies it's obvious and the setter is ridiculous he's an all-rounder he can serve jump floaters you know what i'm saying jump serves he can do it all he sets he spikes you know what i'm saying he does it all he's an all-rounder he's like a lebron james of basketball you know what i'm saying like he's he's the lebron james of um of volleyball you know so it's like so for me it doesn't look like the refined one but it's still it's still something that they're probably going to have to deal with if he, he I, I mean i'm not surprised that he's able to do that with his twin because he's just as good if not better than kageyama you get what i'm saying so i'm not surprised that he's able to pull that off because he's he's a, he's like he's a setter he's seasoned in being a setter so it's not surprising that he could pull that off can they do it consistently though you get what i'm saying does his brother have a hundred percent trust in him like hinata has in kageyama it is a possibility of that because they are twins you know what i'm saying um you know some people go as far to say that twins have the this you know um unique connection you know um to the point of you know tel telepathy right where they can know what each other is thinking and and stuff like that people will go i don't believe in that shit but a lot of people do you get what i'm saying um twins do have unique connections i believe that but to the point of telepathy that no <laughs> you know what i'm saying like they're telepaths no like uh no <laughs> i wouldn't go that far 
You know what I'm saying? You're talking about having supernatural powers. No, you know, um, and I've been around twins. I've been around two sets of twins in my life. Um, one pair is, you know, a boy girl twin and I've been around boy twin, right? And the boy twin, I've never met two people so different. The only thing that's same about them is their looks. <laughs> That's the only thing that's the same about them. I never see a like they're twins and they're so different in personality. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's odd because you usually see twins that are like so much alike. They dress alike and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm not saying they never dressed alike or anything like that. It was just like they were they were so different in personality. You get what I'm saying? One of them was really soft and the other was really tough. You know what I'm saying? And this was while I was in, um, was when I was in military school, this, um, I met this twin and both of them, one was in, uh, actually the older one, which is, you know what I'm saying? Like by minutes or an hour or so he's older, but he was in a higher grade than his, than his brother. Um, his brother was in, was in my class and you know and the other one was in a higher grade than us so but they're so different you get what i'm saying they're the same age but they're so different you get what i'm saying so it's not to say that you know it's not a possibility that they could be that in sync to try something like that on the fly and succeed you know um i'm not surprised by that he is a genius setter a genius all around volleyball player so it, it doesn't come surprising it's just that um, at this point like my question is why would they introduce something like this in the series so late on you get what I'm saying where there's a team that can mimic that quick when nobody has been able to do that because of the trust factor so I think because they're twins that's why they're introducing that into the series which is going to be specific to this pair of volleyball players because they're twin they're so in sync that they can mimic something like this without practice you get what i'm saying because you can see that the, the, the twin that spiked right he said it's just like he said it's gonna be right there okay so it seems like it's the first time they're trying this so we'll see how it goes but any case guys that is all i have to say about haiku season four the return you know episode one or episode 14 whatever you want to call it of season four it's just awesome it was awesome i enjoyed it very much so these two teams are beastly so but i do expect karasuno to win this match um i think there's gonna be something that's an x fa x factor i believe that this match is going to go to go down to the wire but we'll see how it goes but in any case guys i appreciate you Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts, and I will catch you guys later. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment. Peace.